Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Dinesh here and in this video we'll finish a change text program by writing the code inside our main activity.java so in the previous video we wrote the code for activity underscore main.xml so now moving on we'll just finish a code in the main activity.java and not only that we'll link a text view and button attributes to the data types in java so now as you can see over here I have this certain line of code written over here. On the top, you have the package name that is com.engineersdream.changeText. After that, you have something called as import over here. And next, you have a class by the name of main activity. Now, one thing that you should know is that whenever you give your Java file certain name, the same name goes to your class. So, since my Java file name is main activity, my class name is also main activity and it extends app compact activity. Now, app compact activity is one more class in Android and this app compact activity contains the necessary functions and methods which will require for our Android program. Now, if you look very carefully, your main activity is a very small class. It does not have too many functions except the functions that you define inside it. But inside the app compact activity, there are a lot of functions being defined and if you want to use the functions then you need to extend your main activity with this so when i say main activity extends app compact activity i can now use some of the features and the functions that are available inside the app compact activity so if you see over here i have a method by the name of on create so on create method is one of the methods inside app compact activity and i can use it inside my main activity because i'm extending app compact activity so what this basically means is your app compact activity is a super class and your main activity is a subclass meaning this class is bigger than your main activity class okay i'll be talking about what is app compact activity what are on create what is this override in detail again in the next few videos and if those videos are ready i'll also be putting the links in the same video so if you so if you are seeing this video and if you see any links you can just check about app compact activity on create method by clicking on the links if they are available in this video. So exactly below main activity, I will declare the text view data type. So this text view that I have defined over here is called as data type and if you are familiar to programming, you will know that data types are always followed by variables. So this is my text view and I will just give this a variable name quote. Okay. So the text is a data type the variable name is quote i've put a semicolon so semicolon is basically like a full stop this shows that the code ends over here after this in the next line i'll type down button space clk clk just for click okay so i have two data types text view and button and i have two variables quote and clk quote variable is for the text view and clk variable is for the button and if you see clearly you can see the text view and button are in red and on the right side I have these two red lines over here and on the top I have this red symbol. So this basically means your code contains error. Again on top you can see there is a line and there is a red line below your main activity. Now whenever you have errors in your code what you can do is you can just take your cursor to the text which is showing you the error and you can hit the keyboard combination alt and enter. So now as you can see as I hit alt enter Android Studio has directly imported a class by the name of text view. Now if you are programming for the first time Android Studio will show you some suggestion and out of those suggestion you need to click on create class. Now I did not got this suggestion for a very simple reason because I have actually imported those suggestions in my previous applications. So similarly on a button I am getting an error so I will again click on alt enter. And again, as you can see over here, the button and text view have been imported. So guys, as you can see, after I click on Alt Enter, it has actually imported the button and the text view for me. Now, once you have declared the data type, the next thing that you have to do is you need to link the text view and button data types in Java with the text view and button attributes in XML. So let me show you how to link them. So below my set content view, what I will do is I will write the variable name for my text view first. So the variable name for my text view is quote. I'll put it equal to. I'll open and close the round bracket. Now inside the round bracket, I'll type in text view. Please be careful with the spelling, guys. The T and the V is capital. And followed by that, I'll write down find view by ID. So as you can see, if I just type down find, Android Studio is directly giving me suggestions. Find view by ID. And inside the round bracket, I'll type down 
r dot id so i've typed down r dot id and if you remember in the previous video when we declared the text view attribute we gave it an id of text view so i'll choose text view over here i'll put a semicolon after that i write the id for my button that is clk equal to button find view by id r dot id dot the id for my button is button one once my so once my text view and button are linked together the next thing that i want to do over here is i want to change this text whenever the button is clicked so what i'll do right now is if you see very carefully the on create method starts from this line and it ends over here okay if i click on this curly bracket it shows me where this method ends so exactly below this method i'll define one more method and for defining the method i'll type down public void and if you remember i've created one method for my button so let's see what was the name of that method so if i go in activity main.xml if i go in text tab this is the name of the method that i've defined for my button so i'll go in main activity.java i've typed down public void i'll just check the spelling once more change code everything is in small so i'll write down change code I'll open and close a round bracket. I'll type down view space v, and after that, I'll open and close a curly bracket. Again, what I've done over here is I've declared a data type view, and its variable is v. Now, again in the view, I'm getting an error, so I'll click on view. I'll hit the key combination Alt Enter. So now, as you can see, it's showing me import class. So I'll click on import class. Inside this method, you should basically tell Android Studio what should happen when the button is clicked. So what I want to do right now is whenever the button is clicked, I want to change the text inside the text view. So I'll go ahead I'll take the variable name of the text that is quote. I'll put a dot. Now after putting a dot, Android Studio is showing me what are some of the methods that I can link with my text view variable. So there is one method by the name of set text which actually allows me to set the text so i've just typed in sat and i'll choose this one set text i'll put two double quotes over here so that i can type any string and inside this i will just type down a text so i'll just type down one of my favorite quotes so i've just written the harder you work the luckier you get which i personally believe so anyways with this last line or with this last quote i have just finished my programming so your change text application is ready now the only thing that's remaining is to check the output we will just check the output in the next video because as i told you in the next video we'll be creating an android virtual device and we'll check the final output in the meantime if you like this video please feel free to hit the like button and if you want to learn android from scratch please hit the subscribe button so thank you guys and I'll catch you in the next video where we check the output for our change text program.